Welcome back to the We Are T One D podcast. My name is Mike. My name is Jack. We are back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back yeah. off holiday. Yes. We're just two normal blokes living in London, type 1 diabetes, and all we do is get on with it and probably moan about it quite a lot. Exactly. Correction, eating, correction, eating. <laughs> it's that diabetes life. <laughs> but everything we say on the podcast can be taken as guidance, but please do not take it as medical advice. No, again and again and again. We are not Ooh. doctors. <laughs> <laughs> we don't struggle, let's talk about it. Jack, what yes. is your win this week? My win this week is uh, I've managed to eat lunch at work for the first time in I can't remember how long and not have a hypo afterwards. Well, congratulate. That is a win. Yeah. Thank you for I'm clapping myself. I do it every week. <laughs> Yeah, I know you little sea lion, as I say every week. Makes me feel better. No, but that, that is really good for you because you always go low after lunch. Yes, yeah, annoying, man. That like, is literally, I eat my food, I sit down for like 15, 20 minutes after, let it go down, I pre-bolus, I do everything properly. I'm not pre-bolusing too early because I do it exactly the same on every other meal time, and it never does that. So I know that's not the factor. So it is... I think the fact that I'm going straight back to work, active insulin, like we said the other week, activity, mm. and it just plummets me. So what did you do different for you not to go low? Uh, I've started eating a few more carbs with me insulin, but I've tried that before and I, nothing seemed to change. I just always went hypo. As soon as I went back to work, I always went hypo. So I, I don't know what I've done really. <laughs> I ain't really changed a lot. I might eat a few more grams, but it's not. It's literally like three or four grams of carbs, but extra like I would normally. Like it's not going to affect it that much. Yeah. Just a bit of extra sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's an, ex- that's an extra thirty grams of ketchup, actually. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I think it might be. Um, maybe I've not been as active at work. Was it a fluke? Or it could be fluke, or it could be. Like I'll, I'll get into my struggle soon, but it could be something to do with that. And I've adjusted my basal. Ah, oh, okay. So what's your struggle? My struggle is I finally think my honeymoon period is done. Oh my God, no more biscuits for you. Oh yeah, I can eat biscuits, bro. I'm, just, I'm, I'm controlled, but it's I'm just... I'm talking about the moment, mate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh... That went right over my head. <laughs> it usually does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man! And now, yeah, my str- yeah, my honeymoon period. I think it come to an end like last week. Obviously, we didn't get to talk about it last week because we'd done the Q and A. Yeah, was you all right without me? Was you all right? Was it an okay week? No, really. Oh man, my levels were mental. There's nothing to do with you. So it wasn't your honeymoon period. It was me going on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Stress that you've left, bruv. <laughs> Stress does that, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But no, just, I had I had days where, like, my insulin just was not, like, it just didn't seem to do anything. Like, obviously, I hadn't changed anything. I was doing everything as I have been normally for the past however many months. Yeah. But all of a sudden, what I was doing, just, it just was not working anymore at all. Like, I was doing exactly the same as what I do all the time. And it just didn't work. So I put it down to spoil insulin because I... So I was just like, right, my insulin must be spoiled. I'll, I'll, I'll try a new pen. Got a new pen out of the fridge. Like, done a few corrections. And it's like... It come down, but then all of a sudden, about an hour later, it would come back up again. And then I'd be just be stuck higher, just being stubborn. It was just horrible. Every time I ate or every time I'd done sort of sat down for longer than half an hour, my levels just started rising. That's crazy. So I adjusted, as I said, I adjusted my basal, that my background. Yeah. And uh, that seems to have done the trick for now. So I assume it was uh, the complete end of my pancreas. Oh, RIP that pancreas. <laughs> <laughs> so so what, 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 what am I at? About nine months now, because it can last anything from like 
a month to like two years or something, can't it? Or something like that. Yeah, there's no fixed time on it. Yeah. So, but that that's like that's the you know what my levels are like. They're quite. I like to think they're quite. What, Mister Perfect? Not Mister Perfect. I don't like that title because well, I'll tell you what. Put you next to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, my levels against your levels, and you look perfect compared to me. Because I weigh stuff. I know, and I've started doing that myself. Actually. All right, bruv. I weighed pasta, but actually, the night before, like, my, Amber dished up my dinner. I was, we couldn't work out the carbs, to be honest. It was a lot of, it was a lot of pasta. So I was like, oh, I, was, I read the packet and everything ready. It was 33 grams of carb per 100. I was like, okay. I looked at the plate. I was like, okay. Um, so I'd done, I think it was eight units. <laughs> I, I need to start using carbs and cows. <laughs> What happened? Did it go completely wrong? <laughs> yeah, I went up to like 16, I think. Oh, what? What, like instantly? Like within within half an hour. So it was just well wrong. And I pre-bolused, mind you. What did you have with it? What was it? Uh, there was a ch- ch- chicken, chorizo, spinach, double cream, cherry tomatoes. Like nothing that will, nothing major. Ah, so maybe, yeah, if anything, it would have been slowed down because the double cream would be full of fat. Yeah, but that, it didn't make sense. And I just raised to, as I said, 16. Did it come Did it come down or was it staying up? No, nah, it stayed high all night. I couldn't get it down till the morning. Yeah, so you got it completely wrong then. Yeah, I was, it was fucked, to be honest, mate. Where are you, pastor, man? Yeah, well, this is where I come in. This ain't even my win of the week, but I'm throwing it in. This is a pre-win. Oh, what? So you get two wins, bro? That's not fair. I've got a lot of wins this week, uh, which I want to share. So have I, to be fair. Oh, we can go back to win 2.0 after. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what, the next... Uh, there was a bit left over, so I put it in one of my meal prep pots and put it in the fridge. And I was like, hold up, I'm actually going to weigh this to see what it was. Yeah. And it was probably one third of the portion I had previous, right? Mm. And it worked out to be, I think it was like 200 grams. Oh, wow. Yeah, but you weighed it with all the chicken and all that stuff with it in, though. Yeah, but that's irrelevant because one that I added cheese. Um, it's not irrelevant, but it is. But I added cheese on it as well. I was like, I fancy a bit of cheese on top as well. So I cooked it up, pre bolus as I do. Done my six units. Hours later, perfect. And then all through the night, perfect levels. Woke up in the morning, perfect levels. Oh, wicked. Bit of morning glory. Psst, whack that down. See you later, mate. Ooh. Bob's your uncle. I do <laughs> <laughs> That was actually well good, Jack. I'm proud of you, mate. Hello, thank you. Thank you. So what is your actual win then? If that's not your win, because that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, bro. But like, what, what, what is your actual win? My actual win is getting away from work, realising I don't like working, <laughs> um, and going on holiday, mm-hmm. and spending time with the family, and also swimming again for the first time since I got my steroid injection. Oh, nice. Hey, I'll give you a round of applause for that, bro, because I know you... Oh, thanks, mate. You like swimming. Yep, and I've done it every day almost. Yeah, you kept sending me pictures. You was, I was quite jealous, bruv. You're in the gym and that, and I'm at work sweating. I didn't send it... But by the way, listeners, I didn't send him pictures of me in the pool because that's a bit naughty. No, I that's... sending pictures in the gym. It's kind of wrong. <laughs> we're, not, we're not that type of friends, man. <laughs> I was quite proud of myself. I ran, what is it, 15 kilometres per hour for 10 minutes. Fair play, bruv. I couldn't run... At all. Yeah, I'm getting jealous of our listeners that are always running all the time. I was like, can I even run? I can run, it, so. like, I can run for a bus, but like, you put me on a treadmill. Like, it's, I feel like a hamster, bro. No, it's all right. I was just, my daughter was in there as well. So I was kind of like, yeah, I'm dad. I can do anything, you know? Oh, uh, showing <laughs> off and that. Not even showing off, just trying to say, look, I'm... <laughs> I'm showing off. <laughs> 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 no, I'm joking, man. No, it's good. It's nice to have. Um, I keep trying to get my missus into it, bro. Like she keeps saying, I want to get into my fitness and like start doing. Them. I'm like, I will, I will train you, and it will motivate yeah. me even more. Do you know what I mean? We can join the gym together. I'll feel a lot more braver to actually go to a gym and train because I know someone's there that knows what to do if anything goes tits up. Yeah, because we ain't going to the gym together anymore. I, don't, I think that thought has gone, isn't it? Yeah, well, as I say, the, the word, especially now that my yard's moving, 
at work. So it's like I'm I'm gonna I need to look for a gym that's sort of in between my house and work. Yeah. And as I say, the hours for us just won't work either because you're gonna go during the day and I don't finish work till like five, maybe like get home about six o'clock sometimes. Yeah, but to be honest, I'm not even doing gym now. I'm not doing no gyms. I'm doing all like what what's the word? Calisthenics. That's the one. I'm just gonna be doing that. It's very good. I know a couple of people that do it and it is so, so good for your fitness, but it is so hard and it takes a lot of training, man. Yeah, I done a mini workout this morning. I won't say it was a proper one, but I done a mini one. I'll tell you what, I can't do as many push ups as I used to do. Since the injury on my shoulder. I can bang off about probably I reckon forty at once and like that's that by the end of it I'm struggling and I am dumb. Yeah, I don't even want to say what number I got to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's only because I've done the hundred push up challenge, bruv. Like the start of that, I was I could only do about ten. If that bro, like I was like I could feel my arm you know when you get to the top and your arms are shaking, sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I like I was getting that like on the first day at like doing 10, 11, I couldn't hit 15. But by by the end of it, I was doing nearly half of what I need to do in a day in 10 minutes. Okay, yeah. See, it's practice. Practice makes perfect. Mm-hmm. If you're consistent with something, it starts rewarding you. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. That's anything as well. Do you know what? It is since then. It is since I've done that 100 push-up challenge where my like I've been so more motivated because I don't know. It's because I was. I think it's because I was raising money for the charity. I felt like I had to do it. Yeah. So it's pushing me more because I wanted to do it. I wanted to raise that money. So I I had a purpose. So it, it sort of it sort of puts it in your mind that right. I, you're waking up and you're like right. I need to do this. I need to do this. Whereas now you've got a choice because there's no purpose behind it unless you really have that motivation and that drive to actually get up and go and do it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to set myself a challenge, like just some sort of fitness challenge. Um, I'm going to choose a random charity and I'm just going to put it onto my Instagram profile once this walking one's done. And let's see where it goes, because that way I've got motivation. Obviously, I'll go on Instagram a lot because I'm always talking to the community, who are amazing, by the way. Yeah. So... If I look at my own profile, I'm going to see, oh, look, I've raised, what, a fiver? That's going to be enough to go, yeah, come on then. I can do more. Let's see how much I can do. That's what it is. I can do more. I can do better. I can always do more. I can always do more. You've always got that goal that you're pushing to. Yeah. And if you don't have a goal, you can always do more. Yeah, of course you can. I say you have a choice for that. So it's whether you choose to or not, whether you can actually find your motivation to do that or not. Yeah. Let's just have little milestones, I think. I've always said that. Never always focus on your end goal. You focus on your li- next little baby step. And then by the time you've done your 10 baby steps, you're at your end goal without even knowing. Yeah. Well, the way I see it is, yeah, fair enough. There's a destination you want to get to, your goal. But I want to enjoy the journey. I want to enjoy every day. Ooh, I like it. I like it, bro. Motivational Mike is back. Come on. <laughs> Look, he's had a holiday and he's back. Like He's come back a new man. I like it. Have you heard me moan? <laughs> nah, don't. Don't start, bro. Don't. Just don't do it. We'll have one episode without you moaning. All right. Or have you, have you got anything to moan about? Oh, wait, I ain't done my struggle. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. There's your moan of the week. Crack on. It's not even a moan. It's uh, more of an awareness thing. Um, I haven't been eating enough. Oh, sorry. I haven't been eating often enough. Hold on. So my body <laughs> keeps going. <laughs> I'm not moaning. I'm not, no, no, no. I don't mean I told you about that. I mean, I told you about like, you don't eat enough, but you used to, you used to moan at me all the time. You eat too much. You're always eating. Yeah. But Jack, my, my like gaps between my eating are like eight to 10 hours where your gaps are hour and a half to two hours. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not even that, bro. I'll just, I'll just eat. But it's a lot of work. It's, it's why I, it's the only reason why I like my job, really, because I'm so active. Uh, nine times out of ten, I have to eat quite a lot to keep me going. I have to, like, I can just snack on anything. And by the time I've dug a couple of holes, it's, it's gone. Like, it don't even affect me. You for real are a snacker, Jack. <laughs> 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 Bro, I'm sitting here now. I've got a packet of Watsis in front of me and a whole packet of fruit shortcake biscuits. Well, I'm sitting here. Guess what I've got in front of me? What? Uh, I've got two bottles of water, lift tablets, and lift shots and a carbs and cows book 
I've got my carbs and cows book here, actually. They're always handy. Yeah, they are. I'm, I'm literally staying hydrated. I've got a, low, a treat if I go low, and I'm trying to plan out my dinner. So how often are you eating now as opposed to how often was you eating before? Before, I was having breaks of eating like eight, eight to ten hours. It's a long time, man. Yeah. The problem was your body goes into a deficit, and it would, after, say, about seven to eight hours, my sugars were just spiking out of nowhere. I'm like, what is going on? What? What? But then I'm realizing my, um, I'm burning what's in my freezer, which is my fat storage. So I'm starting to burn fat. Yeah. And that is causing the sugar spikes. Fair enough. It, yeah, I can, can be losing weight doing that, but it's not healthy. I need to stop doing it. It's stupid. No, yeah. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to eat more now and eat better. I've realised I've got. I do you know what I never eat fibre. I eat quite. I, I eat quite a lot of fibre to be honest. Yeah, that's that is one thing I really lack in my diet, and I didn't notice till the other day. To be fair, do you um do you get on with cereal at all? Yeah, well, not cereal killers, but cereal in general. Just, yeah, yeah no, nah, there's um <laughs> just, wheat wheat abix do like a cereal. They're called oat abix, and they're like oat flakes. Okay, they're banging. I think for a fir- for a thirty gram bowl, like a thirty gram portion, and the milk. So a hundred like a hundred milliliters of milk is twenty five grams of carbs. And you know that from memory, yeah? Yeah. I haven't yeah, I ain't got they're in the kitchen. I ain't nowhere near them, yeah, just off the top of my head. You're good, mate. You are so good. Like I could sit here with my carbs and cows and won't even get it that quick. No, yeah, I've <laughs> <laughs> I've got a I have got a very good memory. And believe it or not, although you tease me about it every week because I'm usually get very confused, I'm very good with numbers. When I sit it down and think about it, I'm very good with numbers. All adds up, Jack, doesn't it? Proof's in the pudding, mate. Well, oh, the protein pudding. Yeah, I've, well, I've just checked my blood sugars and they're 5.8 and they're dipping quite quickly. So I am having a biscuit. And so what, what did you get up to on holiday then? Would you, um, you've been a naughty boy? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how we stopped our uh, time in ranges the week before you went on holiday. It was perfectly timed. <laughs> But I put I put this out there while I was on holiday. My time in range was fifty four percent. That's not. It's not the end of the world, bruv. You injured yourself. You're on holiday, mate. Right. So the problem was, I said I was going to drink mixers, like so I could control my sugars and all that. But the first two days I was drinking beer. I'm not even joking. I was basically a hundred percent for the two days in range. Wow. Yeah. So that's eating. That's activity. I was walking. swimming and then evening hit i was drinking a lot i was dancing (laughs) and yes i was like okay it's fine but then from the third day the third day is where it all goes a bit pete song because my insulin was like you you, I, i don't like you very much anymore so no matter what i jabbed i was just staying high i just built up such a resistance to insulin through all the alcohol and the abuse I was basically giving myself through alcohol. Is that a thing, is it? I, I don't know. That's what I'm putting it down to because I was still carb counting. I was still, I was actually pre bolusing because I was that pissed off that I was going high all the time. Yeah. And yeah, it was just... I suppose you was training uh, as well, weren't you? Yeah, so I was going to the gym in the morning, basically trying to sweat out the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> in the afternoon-ish, I would either go swimming or we'd just go out somewhere. So walking or some sort of activity. I would have random drops out of nowhere that I couldn't explain. Mm. And then, yeah, it's just like my carb ratio was totally out. So some I weren't out all the time, by the way, guys. I was in green still most of the time during the day. But as soon as I ate, my I would spike no matter what I injected. That's strange, isn't it? It's like my ratio was like three grams to one unit. That's very strange. But then other times... I was like 20 grams to one unit. It was like my body didn't know what was going on. And I put that down to the alcohol. It must be. It must be. If that was yeah. like the only factor that was different. Yeah. Well, most nights I was drinking, what was I drinking? I was drinking, say, five to seven pints every night. Oh, wow. So, yeah, quite a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> so, I was on holiday. <laughs> I was with the family. They drunk the same. Ah, fair play, mate. But I had a wicked holiday. I didn't have any mood swings through the hires either. Um, it was just such a nice, relaxed time. And yeah, apart from the diabetes, that was the only bad thing about the holiday. 
Yeah, nice, mate. Nice. Good. So how was your week of working, Jack? It weren't too bad. It's, uh, had uh, my brother, bless him, ended up in hospital. I'm sorry to hear about that, mate. Yeah, no, nice. he, he's, he's all right. He's on the mend. But yeah, yeah, that was a bit of a shock. But, um, hey, it's been all right. It's, uh, been busy. We've been, as I say, we've been moving yards. So it's been a lot of, like, ferrying stuff around. I had to finish a building site the other day. That was fun. We had to st- <laughs> stay there till probably about half five-ish. We didn't leave there till. Oh, wow. It was absolutely hacking it down with rain. And I was building sheds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great fun. You should build them faster. You can stand in them. <laughs> oh, it's just, oh, well, do you know how nice it was when the roof went on? You was like sort of inside that. Like, oh, it's just a break for five minutes, brother. And then, yeah, then you're on the stepladder putting the felt on. Uh, oh, it, yeah. was, it weren't fun, man. It weren't fun. No, it don't sound it, to be fair. No, it weren't great, mate. But uh, we have... um. We actually haven't got to go to any more building sites, I don't think, for at least a few weeks. So I like that. It's just it's just it's just domestic jobs now, so it's nice. It's nice. It's just normal yeah. garden fences. So you're basically having a work holiday if that makes sense. It's, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, a holiday a holiday <laughs> from building sites anyway, yeah. It's just so yeah. long, bro. Like you've got to wear all your PPE and like when you first go on a site you have to have an induction and there's always something goes wrong on a building site. Uh, and I think it's just straightforward. It's just, it's just long. So it's nice to just be able to turn up to someone's house, go, where do you want it, left or right? Simple. Well, it's always the left, isn't it? I would be, be surprised, bruv. Some, de- I, I always thought that as like being a fencer, but you, some deeds, you actually get into it and look at the deeds when people get the deeds to their properties when they own them. Uh, some, sometimes it's the right, sometimes it's the left. Oh, wow. I always thought it was the left, yeah. Sometimes it's both. Oh, they're proper fucked. <laughs> yeah, I've had it before where they've had a look and they don't own any. Wow, that's mad. Yeah. Oh, it's, I wonder if that house was more expensive. <laughs> I don't or know. less expensive. I don't know. I'm actually curious. Well, it was a few years ago, bro. I can't just go and knock on their door. No, it's just uh, ask you a question. <laughs> no, just, just run and kick all the fences down. Right, and then, 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 do you remember me? I heard your fences just going to come down. <laughs> By the way, what was the price on your house? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's been good. As I said, I've started, um, it's only taken me nearly a year, but yeah, I've started um, getting my uh, lunches right, which, like, as I say, my win of the week. So that, that, that's that been good during this week. That's brilliant. And as I say, after my honeymoon period, I think I've finally, finally, got my basil correct for now until the weather changes again probably yeah the weather's been weird at the moment though it's like hot and cold literally day after day oh, i was so hot today uh, stupidly enough i've been working out in the sun i've got nice tan shoulders i've had a vest on oh yeah so you're you're gonna look like you wear a white vest 24 7 yeah yeah i've um i ain't even taken it on i know sound like a tramp but i haven't taken it off yet from work so we literally got as soon as i finish work i come in and start recording this so i'm really really expecting my wife to take the rat piss out of me when I take it off. I was just about to say that. I bet Zoe's going to love it when you go to bed tonight. <laughs> yeah, I, bro, I ain't even seen it yet. I I'd sort of looked at my shoulders in the mirror and I looked at myself and just went, you dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be like, Jack, I, thought, I told you to take your vest off. <laughs> I know. Do you know she does it all the time. She does it all the time, bless her. She's got the most oldest jokes that get used every si- like every time I get mushrooms out and start cutting them she goes oh there's not much room on there like, oh, it's- you're not a very fun guy are oh, you? oh my god don't bro <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry about that. Oh. there ain't many mushroom jokes I'm trying to think of more no there ain't really yeah don't really go further than mushroom or much room no it's not much room for improvement <sighs> is there oh god you even used it yourself, you weirdo. <laughs> if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> uh, exactly. Exactly. Should we get should we get into our averages? Oh yes. Let's do averages. Wait, I need my phone. Bear with me, because it might have got better. <laughs> got better. <laughs> right, so let's bust out the jingle. Yo, what is your average, bruv? Mine is 8.5. Not even far from mine, bro. Mine is 7.9. Okay. Right. I actually have yellow areas, though. Oh, really? 
Yeah. And uh, I've got my highest peak is between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. and that is 9.2. Uh, my highest peak is between 9 p.m. and 12 a.m., which is 11.6. Oh, wow. Guess what time I was drinking from? Yeah. <laughs> About yeah. 6 p.m. <laughs> so from 6 p.m. till 9 p.m., I'm 11.4, and then I'm 11.6 from 9 till 12. And then after lunch, time is my lowest. So from 12 till 3 p.m., which is when I'd usually go, like go swimming and stuff. I was six point six. Oh wow! What was that? What time was that? How? What time? Twelve till three. Yeah, PM. Yeah, mine is seven point one. So yeah, it just shows the alcohol abuse literally in the graph. Yeah, it's it's, it's I'm quite liking it that we uh, changed it because it's like you can see sort of where you're going wrong and what you yeah. need to work on. Like me, mine I haven't got any yellows, but I can see that between sort of between three and six a.m. I'm 8.6 and between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. it's 9.2. So slightly going up from sort of like 12 a.m. in the morning until I wake up in the morning. And obviously as soon as I wake up, it sort of skyrockets a little bit. So I think I need to uh, sort of do my, um, as I wake up, couple of units like straight away. Yeah. Instead of leaving it to see where it goes. Slide it along to daily patterns. Yeah. Right. Not Your black line is basically your average. But have a look at the the dark grey like blobby bit. Yeah. Right. That is your trend. Yeah. So that's sort of like what it is usually, isn't it? No. Yeah. So yeah. So I was peaking at sixteen when I was drinking. Oh, there we go. I'm looking at it now. Well, you weren't looking at it when I was talking about it. No, no. I was looking at the thing. I mean, I'm looking at the information. It says the dark blue shading represents the 25 to 75 percentile range so that's where yeah. the dark is where you spend 25 to 75 percent of your time so that's that's the bit i've started to look at as well to find trends in my sugars you got um how flat is yours because last time i went to my appointment she was like we like to try we like to get the line as flat as possible like the black line define what is flat please flat like straight across. Mine looks like there's two little cats purring next to each other. Yeah, your seven days. What is it over like for your ninety days? So you've like for overall for like the past three months. Just a bit high on the from six PM till twelve AM. Yeah. Apart from that, it's actually all within the greens. Oh that's yeah. Yeah, so as well. Oh no, slight peak at five AM as well. Yeah, my peak's at six AM. Same as what it is on my average now. Yeah. That's actually interesting. Oh, I'd never look at 90 days. Do you not? No. I always do. It makes me feel better. Yeah, it just balances it. Yeah. I think, oh, I'm, I've had a shit week, but over the past three months, I've done pretty well. Yeah. Well, over 90 days, my average is 8.0. Mine is 7.6. Oh, so you're, you're consistent as fuck. All my readings from left to right, so 7, 14, 30, 90. So 7, 7.9. 14, 7.9. 30, 7.6. 97.6. Yeah, so if you work on them little bits, mate, you're going to be like um, one of them diabetic health coaches saying, I can get 100%. <laughs> oh, I'd never be one of them people. Nobody's 100% all the time, man. I, I think they're amazing because I'm not moaning this week. So, Jack, what's your discovery? <laughs> Let's roll the jingle. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack got your back. Jack got your back with Jack's discoveries. What's your discovery this week, Jack? Right, my discovery is, um, so it's, I find it quite interesting, actually. I was flicking through carbs and cows, just being, in, just being nosy. Yeah. Maybe that's why I'm quite good at memorising stuff, because I do just get bored and start flicking through it. I need to do that more often. But, um, vegetarian food, well, well not, ve- not vegetarian food, but sort of like uh, the corn stuff, the, like the meat substitute stuff. Yeah. Oh, a lot more carbs and, like, crap in it the natural meat is it yeah what the pieces bit yeah co- it got, like yeah like cor- corn pieces they're only like one or two grams of carbs like it's not it's not a lot but it was just i've just i just thought it was interesting like it's meant to be like the corn burger is four grams of carbs a uh, normal homemade burger if you as long as you not ones that are shot but obviously and full of crap you made it if you made it yourself that is more of pretty much zero grams of carbs because it is just mint there's no carbs in meat no no so even like the chicken breasts and that, like there's nothing but like if corn sausages. There's say if you go and get like a chicken sausage, there's what one gram of carb in it, if that. Yeah, it might be more. A corn sausage has got five. Wow. Obviously, you you, you you're gonna like a, no, a normal sausage is probably about five 
maybe six. It's got breadcrumbs in it. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what binds it together. I used to make them at my dad's shop. Oh yeah, I forgot you used to do all that. Yeah, I'm a butcher's boy. Butcher's boy. Didn't do didn't do too much in the shop to be honest. Sometimes I just took my PlayStation down during the summer holidays and sat in the back <laughs> of the shop. But I helped when I could. Uh, yeah, I, th- I thought that was quite interesting. Just uh. Just casually looking through, and as I say, I spotted it. Because I would, I, I would, I would have thought like a meat substitute would have been the same. Because I've always thought about eating sort of like corn and vegetarian stuff, but yeah, I think my dad would disown me, mate. To be honest. Well, yeah, if he's a butcher, yeah, I don't think I'd ever would. I went for a phase of not eating chicken for about a year. Oh wow. Yeah. Why that would was... you quit chicken out of everything? I don't know. I just got. I think I just had a really bad experience a few times with a few so- like literally it just seemed to be every supermarket you went to and bought some chicken it was shit it was just disgusting I've noticed that a lot with I think it's Tesco's this is why I never buy meat in Tesco's as soon as you open the chicken packet mate it stinks yeah it's disgusting bro so I was just like you know what I ain't even eating it no more like, you can't buy a decent chicken unless you go and spend a fortune on it and I can't be bothered to do that because I ain't got a lot of money so I'm just not eating it well you eat it now yeah, I just, that's all I do eat now. <laughs> funnily <laughs> enough, the best, funnily <laughs> enough, the best quality chicken I found is in Lidl's. Yeah, I agree. Nah, yeah, uh, no, nah, honestly, as I say, I've I've tried everywhere, every supermarket, and honestly, the best quality I've found, taste, everything is Lidl's. Yeah, I can agree with that. I'm not gonna really bother with vegetarian stuff. There's no point. Oh, mate, I can tell you, I was obviously with on the subject of Lidl, mate. I had to train someone up the other day. <laughs> Oh. Training. I bet that was fun. Yeah. Oh, mate, no, it's not fun because they stalk you around. <laughs> like you try and run away from them, and they just carry on following you. <laughs> you like? You got to train them, bro. No disrespect to them, but when they don't speak like English properly, mate, it's so hard. You're trying to explain something, and it's like, um, you know what what we're like when we're hypo and we just nod and agree and don't really know what the fuck anyone's going on about. Oh, yeah, it's like. It's, Talking to them and explaining stuff, they're doing that to me. I'm thinking, are you going to hypo? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I had to train someone else. It was actually really stressful. I bet it was. Yeah. Did your levels stay good? Yeah, they did actually. I was good all morning. I was just having a laugh and they're a really nice person. Don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, they couldn't do the work I do. I don't know why they got paired with me, to be fair. <laughs> but... Fair enough. It was no, it's all right. You're good at what you do, mate. They obviously want you to inspire the new employees. Well, this is the thing. There's special roles for trainers. Why am I doing it? I'll tell them I want more money. No, the trainers don't even get more money anymore. They stop that. Oh wow! So it's literally spend a day with someone and teach them the ways. I don't know, running away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking a little. Does it just clicked in my head? You said about eating fiber earlier. Mm. Get them fiber bars, bruv, that I eat, man. Yeah, but they're full of. Sh- are they full of crap as well? Or are they just. Nah. I need to find a good source of fiber. Porridge? Whole- wholemeal bread? Do you know what? Bananas? I, to- I can't buy wholemeal bread because no one in the house eats it apart from me. Bro. That just means I eat too much. All right, mate. Is there a fiber in everything? <laughs> How am I lacking it? <laughs> um. Yeah, so I had porridge this morning. And an apple for breakfast. A porridge and apple. That was beautiful, by the way. This is nice, bro. Porridge. I love porridge in the morning. I had a slight spike with the porridge, though. It yeah, it does to me a little bit. As I say, I've I've struggled with it for eight months, but I was not giving up. Yeah. Even though you Let kept telling me, you stop eating porridge. It's not good for you. Stop doing That's why you keep spiking. But I've been... I'm so determined to get it right. And I've got it right now. Touch wood. So... Well, to be fair... But I'm going to explain what the porridge done to me because I've started also logging my food and injection times. So I pre bolused. Oh shit, is that all it was? <laughs> <laughs> I pre I pre bolused six minutes. <laughs> six? <laughs> yeah. So Maybe I pre bolused like six spiked, minutes. Mate. Yeah, I pre bolused six minutes, spiked to 13, done um, two units. I was like, I'll sod this. Got stressed out, rage bolus, I guess. And then I dropped down to 4.6 and then treated that with some lift tabs. Do you know how long I pre bolus for my breakfast in the morning? And I have porridge, two slices of toast, and a fried egg. 25 minutes. 25? Okay, I'm going to try it. Well, no, you just keep an eye on your level, bruv, because it might not work for you. I'm just a bit insulin resistant in the morning, so I have to do it for a bit longer before it kicks in. Otherwise, it happens yeah. to me like I spike up and go 
mad. Like, I'll start hitting 15s. I'll just play with pre-bolus. Mm. 15 is the sweet spot for my pre-bolus anyway. 15 minutes? Yeah. That's what I usually do, for, like, depending on what I'm eating. If I know I'm going to eat a fatty meal, then I'll pretty much inject and eat straight away. Oh, this is a random question for you. You know in the mornings, you have to do a correction for your morning glory. Yeah. Do you throw it in with your pre-bolus? It all depends on what time I actually get out of bed. Because I always I always eat breakfast at the same time, but I don't always get out of bed at the same time. So that's the difference between me having sort of half an hour from waking up to having to do my injection to then eat 25 minutes later. Or if I wake up late and I've got like 15 minutes and that affects sort of my pre do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. Thought I'd ask. Because it's, it's, it seems to be, it seems to, like I don't spike, as soon as I wake up, I don't spike straight away. I sort of seem to be steady, steady. And then I think it is, well, it's pretty much as soon as I inject my insulin for my breakfast, my levels will start raising up. And then, as I say, I'll sit there and just, I'll potter around, like I'll get my bag ready, I'll get my lunch ready for work, I'll do the washing up from all the stuff that I'm making breakfast with. And then as soon as I give it about 15, 20 minutes, then I'll go in the kitchen, I open my Libra app and just leave it on the side and I'll start making my breakfast. And then obviously I know like, right, I've been dropping however many in the past two minutes right put porridge on now because the insulin's starting to work and then it's literally as soon as it's finished cooking on the plate bosh in the front room eat it and it works okay yeah i'm gonna master this porridge though so that's, that's, it's, as i say that's the, it's the only time i've actually said it since it's happened is uh i actually like the libra link app for that the update like the continuous bit because i can just leave it on the side whilst i'm doing other stuff and i can just monitor What's happening? Yeah. Well, go actually, as you say that, go to your sensor usage on your Libra app. And yeah. how many scans per day do you do? Or sc- Oh, it comes under views now as mm, well. Scans and views. So my scans for the past week, yeah? Yeah, for seven days. 105 scans or views a day. What? 105. Per day? Yeah, per day. And my my okay. se- my sensor to my active sensor time is ninety nine percent, and it is literally the the whole way across the board is a hundred percent. All right, mine's fifty two per day. So what's your sensor active time? Ninety eight percent. Okay. Oh, that's the time the sensor is active. Ninety nine percent time sensor active. I don't understand what yeah, that I've, is. I've, I think that's where it disconnects. You know, you get that grey bit where it goes unreadable. Okay. Okay. Or. Or that's when you're too far away from your phone. Okay. Yeah, read. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're saying. Or if you forget to scan every eight hours. Yeah, I don't have that problem. <laughs> Definitely not. No. <laughs> but my total scans and views for the 10th to the 16th of August are 362. Oh, wow. Uh, don't know why. <laughs> I would say close to 1,000. 736. Okay, it's less than I thought, so well done. <laughs> 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 and I always keep it, you know, it's because I'm at work and because I know my levels change so quickly when I'm at work, I always, like literally, I'll just get me phone in the pocket, have a quick look, like, all right, cool, I know I can carry on. Or if I re- pull it out and I see I'm starting to drop off, then I know, right, I've got about 10 minutes or I'll finish digging this hole, then I'll go and have a quick snack and then I'll be all right. Yeah. It's always on my mind, but it, it but it doesn't stress me, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you'd like to know you're in control. Yeah. It's, it's as simple as that. It, it's just, it, yeah, it's be, it become a reflex for me now. It is just literally, well, it, it is. Diabetes is my life. So And you care about your life. Simple. Exa- yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. You know, so I like to, I've always, like I said, I think it was like one of the first episodes we ever recorded. I've, I remember saying something like I was, when I first had this, I was so determined to never let it get the better of me. Yeah, yeah, you uh, did say that. And I am, I still stand by that. I will ne- that will never change. That's so good though, man. I, I, I still, I care, but I, I don't worry as much as you, I don't think. Uh, do you know what? It's not even a worry. I don't feel like I worry about things anyway. Sorry, worry is, worry is the wrong word. Maybe care. No, I do care. Right, what's the right word? You do care. I just, um... You are worried, because if you're going high, you're worried about it. So you do worry. No, I, do you know what? I don't worry. I, I've always lived my life, and I actually made this like my little motto when I owned my fencing company. I don't have problems. I just have solutions. That's powerful. So I don't think about what the problem is. I think about how I'm going to solve it. Do you know what I've realised with the world, though? What? Right? As soon as we got... As soon as nature, animals, humans, and fruit and veg and all that happened, right? 
anything created after that time was to make life lazy. Yeah, pretty much. So people are struggling to do this. They find a solution to make it easier. So that's one. Well, it's to give people more time, I guess. But it's also laziness. You think cars, people are lazy. It's just that. You know what you're saying? It's just, I, think. I don't know what I'm saying. No, Let me check my sugar levels. No, I don't. What am I waffling about? I don't know no, I'm 8.6. I'm chilling. Yeah, I was just going to cut that whole bit out because I just went into a mad one. Yeah, I don't know what you were talking about, bro. Nature. I'm in love with nature. Yeah. Go and fucking hug a tree. I, I did. <laughs> talking of trees, right? I've seen these things. You know them gymnastic rings you can get? Yeah. What's that got to do with a tree? Right, I'm, I'm going to get them. And then I'm going to throw the strap over the tree. And then I'm going to do my um, fitness on it. I want the, um, like the Olympic rings. Yeah. They're hard. I know. That's what I'm looking forward to. Wait till they're easy. <laughs> Have you gone? That's what I'm looking forward to. No, I'm going to order them. They're 35 quid. They're not actually a bad price. Is that all they are? What's that? Amazon? Yeah. Might see how you get on and then uh, I'll, I'll join you. Yeah, hopefully I'll use them more than twice. <laughs> <laughs> when we get on it, your arms will pull apart. You'll hit the floor, hurt yourself and go, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, I'll just rip my tendonitis out. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 shoulder, brother. I put a lot of strain on your arms. Oh shit, I've totally forgot about that myself. I said that as a joke. <laughs> oh, honestly, that'll put like it's all shoulder. It's all in I your know. shoulders. It's all in your traps. I know. That's why. Um, so all I'd done at the gym on holiday was my shoulders. Yeah. Well, that's good though, because you're building the muscles back up around it, man. Mm. What was you lifting? Well, you weren't lifting heavy, was it? Nah, I was doing about what was it? It was. It said 60 on the plate. Must be pound. That's about, it's about 30 kilos. Yeah. Maybe 20, yeah, that's maybe 25. About. It's 2.2 pounds or a kilo. Yeah, so it's about 25 grams. Then. Uh, 25 kilos, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So you, what, what was you doing? Shoulder pressing? Um, I was doing all sorts, mate. Bertie Bassett in the gym, I am. Bertie Bassett? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like them. Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. My dad keeps coming into this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. He's diabetic as well. He's type 2. Oh. But he can't work on technology to listen to the podcast, so I wouldn't worry. <laughs> <laughs> he buys all these gadgets, and then he's like, Michael, how does it work? <laughs> <laughs> Not my dad. I don't even know what we're waffling about. No, leave the wire. Oh, should we do uh, Guess the Carbs? Yes. Diadenic. Di- diadenic. <laughs> diadenic? <laughs> Where did he come from? Well, that's a diadenic. 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 Three teeth back in, bro. (laughs) Come on. Right, diabetic Dennis, let's cue you in. Can Can you guess the carbs? Can you guess the carbs? What is the carbohydrate? (laughs) Sorry, last week we did not do this game because I was on holiday and we didn't add it in. Uh, sure fault. Yeah, blame me, guys. It's fine. I will. Don't worry. Just don't send me hate messages because I'm in such a good mood lately. (laughs) <laughs> this special is a chicken sausage and mash. Oh yeah, let's do that. Ooh. How much mashed potato we got, Jack? Just make up a number. 355. Alright, I'm gonna throw in ten chicken chipolatas. Ten! <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> I suppose they're only chicken, so Exactly. And if you was listening earlier in the episode, we might have mentioned how much is in them. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Clever. You lot are going to be cheating again, bro. Yeah, exactly. Who's who's at the top of the leaderboard? The top, where well, it was number one food lover. I ain't, because I was on holiday, I ain't added the, the, so many more people entered after. Yeah, I know. Literally, as soon as the leaderboard went up, all I got was a uh, comment, 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 comment. Yeah, guys, so if you can work out what 355 grams of mashed potato and 10 Italian chicken chipolata sausages are please head to at we are t1d and submit your entry underneath the image of the guest the card post went very posh i like it yes very formal thank you i can talk like this sometimes and be all professional this is my business voice so sir would you like to buy this car i reckon you should buy this car because it has a sunshine roof and it has a comfortable seat and this belt will keep you safe in any crash unless a big spear hits you in the face there you go. You want to buy that car, didn't you? Not really, no. All right, fair enough. I like the colour. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's roll into wins of the week. Yo, let, let me begin, because it's time for the listener win. You and them bloody jingles. Just I just want to hear the wins. Let's hear it. We're back again with the listener wins, guys. We missed it last week. 
because like, I was on holiday. I was that upset that I started drinking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I did actually miss not having any wins last week, bro. I, 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 like, I really like this part of the show. Yeah, same. It is one of my favourite. So, let's start off. Uh, my friend, yeah, my friend DJ Sean Styles. He got a Greg's free sausage roll from the app. <laughs> what? Well done, mate. What? Yeah. I'm Give giving, I'm giving first, you a clap. Like, yes, we're giving you a clap. And now we end the clap and you tell me what? Why, why was I mate, not informed about this? I told you about the Greg's app ages ago. You probably did, but I forgot. Well, download it and use it. And then you get rewards for the more you spend in store and all that malarkey. Oh, I'd get fair points, bruv. Hella yum yums. <laughs> Hello, yum yums. So many yum yums, bruv. <laughs> Yo, let me begin the yum yum. <laughs> right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick one. All right, we've got Maria. She got new tattoos. Ah, I really want a new tattoo. Yeah, oh, so, yeah, yeah. Sorry. That's all right. I really want to get mine done, but you know what? I can't afford it. Yeah, I, I want to get mine done, but he, uh, the tattooist that said they'd do my tattoo, they said they want me to design it. All right, so you've got to do it first. Yeah. Do so it then, that's bro. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, no, I've been thinking about it for se- the last seven years, mate. It's a long I time. I just don't know what I want on it. Yeah, it's, I might just do a diabetes sleeve fully. That'd be pretty cool. Talk to Maria quite a lot. So what what, what was the actual tattoo? I want to know what you got. Right, so next win is your missus, Zoe. Oh. She baked biscuits for the first time in ages and Jack used it to treat his oh, low. Yes. <laughs> Take that for that, babe, because they were so nice. They, they were very good. I remember she used to bake them years ago actually um used to do it like as a business sort of thing just like a bit of money on the side actually like bake them and sell them sort of thing really really good yeah. baker but she hasn't done it for years that's wicked mate as i say she, she'd done it on the weekend and then yeah i i was actually sitting there i'm looking at the biscuits like i really want some of you but i don't know what the carbs are and i just can't be bothered so i'll have it in the morning or i'll deal with it like tomorrow during the day when i've got time to work it out because it was quite late yeah and then I was thinking, oh, if I have a hypo, like, I was sort of like thinking, like, go on, just drop off a little bit. Kept looking at me, blood, like, go on, just, just go, just go. And they did. So I was just like, right, get some biscuit. <laughs> what are you talking about? You know you whacked 10 units just to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have no no units at all, bro. I just literally, I was waiting for my blood to drop off and they did. So I was like, right, give me one of them biscuits now. I had one of them for years and it was so nice, man. So it made her happy as well. Do you know what's a coincidence? What's that? We talk about your uh, flop and you treating it with a biscuit. Now she's baking biscuits. Is she saying, Jack, don't flop on me again? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stock me up. <laughs> oh, oh, why did my mind go there? Oh, but I'm sorry. Oh, but is it true, that's, Zoe? That's all Let right. us No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got one. It's from your missus. Oh. So Amber and Amber says having a lovely holiday with the family. Yeah, that's so, a win. Yeah, that is a win. Proper copied my win though, but it's a win. <laughs> <laughs> it's that good we celebrated twice. That's all right, two claps. Two claps, Shakur. Two claps. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> right, next one, Lauren. Who's them? I think I said that right. On my first holiday since diagnosis and first time swimming since diagnosis. Oh, well done. Yeah, well. It was wicked. Uh, I actually spoke to her. I said, oh, be careful with swimming because um, I go low every time. And she goes, yep, went low. But I'm not going to let it stop me. So, well done. Yeah, fair play. Fair play. I've still yet to go on holiday. Well, you, you went away. Uh, you? Yeah, I've been Bogner. away, but I don't really class Bogner as a holiday no more. I've been going there literally more or less my whole life. So it's just like a getaway sort of thing. It's not a holiday. And I've only been doing sort of like long weekends as well. It's not like I've been going for weeks and things like that. I've literally had just a Friday to a Monday. Well, do a bloody week, Jack. I can't afford it. Self-employed, man. Well, do some fences in Bogner. <laughs> 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 oh, I wish it was that easy, mate. Uh, uh, do you know what? I think that because where we go, uh, Hoborn Nash, 
Uh, there's a little around the corner. I think, shall I just get some hours there? We can stay longer. <laughs> no, no, get transferred for a couple of months. Oh, I don't know if I could do a month down there. I'll be skimp, mate. Oh, one of them expensive seaside towns. No, I drink too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Alright, got, we've got a couple more, haven't we? We have. So we've got Nenro. They say they ate a whole pan pizza and a Coke, but managed to hit their pre bolus and ended up at 150, which is 8.3 after two hours. What the fuck? Mad. That's. Big claps for that. I still ain't yeah. done it. Nearly a year down the line, I still haven't eaten pizza. But they said two hours, not four. Ooh. What happened after four hours? In it. It's complex carbs. I'm yeah. The system. What happened after six mm. hours? Oh, what happened after eight? Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Nendro, well done. Well done. Well done. No, well done. <laughs> yeah, you smashed it. Honestly, you smashed yeah, it. Definitely. Was, yeah. 8.3, that is wicked. Most people drop low straight away, don't they? Yeah, well, as I say, I'll mention the only time I've had pizza was one I made myself and it went completely wrong, bruv. Yeah, same. It does for me every time. I can't nail it. So, actually, I can, but I can't. It's one of them ones. Hit and miss, isn't it? Yeah, bit hit and miss. Like this name I'm about to read. And I'm either going to get it wrong or I'm going to get it right. Uh, Salacious went back to work after being diagnosed on the 26th of May. Wow. Yeah, wow. Well done. That was a big step for me, doing that. So, hats off. Uh, fair play. I know the struggle there. Mm. Yeah, it was a totally new life, really. Yeah, so, there it is. It is. I don't know what I do, but yeah, good luck. I hope it's going well and all that malarkey. Yeah, I hope it stays well. Yep, yeah, stays well. Like a bake well. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> mm. oh, they're my favourite. Is this Sammy Sam, Sammy Knox? Is that a win or a struggle? Uh, I've... Well, I don't know. I did message them, actually. Let me find out their response, because I asked them the same thing. <laughs> right, Sammy Knox, do you know what? You haven't got a whim, but we're going to feature it anyway, because your comment <laughs> just... It did make me laugh, and I felt it as well. So here's the Sammy on the win of getting a win during our struggle. There we go. Well done, Sammy. <laughs> You got this. Next week, we want to see a good win. And if you're struggling, just say you got mentioned on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's always a good thing. Yeah. Well, I like, I, well, is it? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. Sorry about mentioning your names. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we wrap it up for this week then, mate? Yeah, let's wrap it up. Put it in some tinfoil, whack it in the oven and poke it with some moles and... I don't know what we're, we're making a jacket potato now for fuck's yeah. sake. Make sure you weigh it. <laughs> Make sure you weigh it. <laughs> oh, I think it's 20 grams per 100. <laughs> What's a jacket potato? 20 grams per 100? Oh, I've not got a clue, bro. I'll have a look in carbs and cows, seeing as I've got it in front of me. Are you cheating? Actually, it's not cheating. We're, we're it's not. We're disgusting. We're not, we're, we're not like, guessing right, the carbs. So you can find it first. You can't use the index. Why can't I? You, you've got a flick find. I've got it, bro. Too late. No, you're cheating. I've, che- I've cheated. I don't care. I found it. Right here, bro. Such a jacket potato. Yeah, I'm on it already. Have what you weighed you it? About? Have you weighed it? What, my jacket potato? I'm not having jacket potato. Oh, no. <laughs> just... <laughs> Fucking nutter. <laughs> I was just trying to find out. Ain't we? Yeah, 95 grams is 20 grams. There we go. See, I was... How good am I, Jack? Not bad. From memory, you see. He, he was from memory. He was five grams out, mate. Yeah, it don't make a difference unless it's double. Right. Right, let's this let's, let's wrap this potato up. <laughs> okay, Spuddy. Time to go. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for joining us this week, people. I hope you enjoyed listening to our voices again on a normal podcast. Do you know what? I've I've missed recording. I've yeah. enjoyed this. Yeah, we've only had a week off and it's actually felt like ages. Yeah, I felt like I missed something. Mm. Yeah, you probably missed a rant. What? I haven't even done one this week, mate. Let's no, see if haven't. I can go a month without ranting. It ain't gonna happen. It will. It ain't gonna for me. Money Michael is gone. Uh, look, here we go. Look, Michael's back on the podcast, people, and he has put the phone down again. First episode back, and he's hung up on me again. I wait for him to call me back. Is my phone dead? He's probably still talking on the other end of the phone. <laughs> oh, my phone died, Jack. No, it still ain't called me back. Maybe it's a dead battery. Who knows? 
Blah, da, da, da. Yeah, I think it's dead battery, otherwise he would have run me back by now. <laughs> his update people has just messaged me saying his phone died. Still recording. Be a sec. <laughs> uh, typical Mike. So yeah, this this part of the podcast is where my phone died mid conversation. Me and Jack are just sitting here recording. We're gonna listen to the waffle after and see Wagwan. Welcome back to the We Are T One. Oh, I was talking to all the listeners. Yeah, I've, I can't wait for the outtake. Yeah, thank you for joining us this week, people. I hope you've um, enjoyed this episode, and I'm I hope you're glad we're back. Yep. Same crazy old people. We're not old. Uh, get in there, bruv, to be honest. I am. My beard is getting well grey. Because you're old. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> but I'm going to go white, not grey, so it's all good. Silver Fox. That's me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Uh, if you want to keep up a date with us on the socials, mine is T1D underscore Jack. Mine is T1D underscore Mike. And the podcast page is at We Are T1D, and that is on all social media for the We Are T1D page. Yes, we're, we're getting about, we're getting about people. Trying, we are trying. Yeah, and also guys, don't forget to leave a, like, a rating on the podcast and leave a review as well, because it really helps. Yeah, it does really help us. If you could, we really appreciate it. Yeah, it means a lot. Yeah, so... Thank you. Until next week, we shall see you later. See you later, mate. Take it easy, people. Bye-bye. Bye. See you later. Bye.